Okay. Yeah, uh, I'm I'm scared for Empire as well. The the silencer not being a core is depends when he gets his level six, in my opinion. I, I think Sigra had has the advantage, so I'll go with them as well. There's a reason people ban the Magnus against Empire, and that is because it's got tier. Go for Empire on this one. That's the Slack's promise right there. Anyway, <laughs> who will win? We will find out very shortly. Let's go ahead and send it on over to our wonderful commentators and see what kind of game we've got in store for game one. As a silencer, he is just chain pulling, so he denies like one or two wave, one or two creeps from the wave each time. They're getting, they're maximizing much better in this safe lane for Empire than Secret is in their aggressive tri lane. Miposhka gonna get some pressure onto him. They know he still only has bash level one, and this time he should be brought down. Yeah, there's no way he gets out of here with the frostbite and the snowball to follow through as well. Miposhka will be taken down. Chappie and King are heading across. See if they can get a lock onto anyone. Kezu's getting pinged up. We've got the first charge coming out toward him. Yeah, has to be careful. Not level six yet, of course. As a mango, we'll have another shield. Let's see if that's going to be enough. Here comes the lead in. Battle hunger, so they can close the gap. There's the first connection. They'll get it into the call. Kezu being bashed up as well. This should be a guaranteed one, or maybe not. Pops the mango in the shield, trying to get himself back to the tower. Bash would suffice. Won't funny initially, but they will continue to dive through. There's the next charge, and Kezu will pop. They get away with the kill. Same time, though, down on the bottom lane. Yap saw able to close the gap onto the silencer, and Secret will find a kill in return. See if he uh, catches anyone else coming back up to that area, but it doesn't look like he will. Down on him, Chappy. Make it to go on to Yapso, immediately looking to snowball over to the creeps. We'll see if Empire can continue to cut him off. Uh, looks like they won't. They'll hold back. Now MP, from mid one. ready to go in. With it. He's got the raise, so Chappy goes for the raise TP. It's a smart move and it's a safe move. He's out of there, but King R isn't. We'll be punished with the wraparound from Puppy. So again, look at the silencer. Actually playing around very much on the edge of this. Empire, do they want to go now? They will. Charge forward, but TP reaction will come through from Secret. Ghost it, getting the spins off, bringing Kezu down low. And in fact, those couple of springs bringing him down very low. They will get the kill, but Mid one's in with a rotation, punishes the axe, and now Yapso quickly snowballs onto Miboshka, makes sure that the TP is not successful. And Secret will happily take that trade. They lose Kezu, but Mid one comes in and picks up a double kill. Secret are not really wasting the smoke because they, they do stop Empire from getting the jump that Empire were relying on with these new newfound items. I mean, for now, FM. Okay! That's a lot of hate for a Midas CM. And uh, Puppy's down. FN, not a fan. Puppy trying to get some deep wards in. They do spot that, though. They do know he put a ward down, I believe. It looked like they had an idea, King R, with sentries. Yeah, he's going to be able to get the D ward. MP, though, getting aggressive onto him. They do have Ghost Stick with the uh, Chappy Lifesteal in behind them, the Taunt. Onto Weaver, it's going to be long enough for them to get the kill. They've got the control, they'll bring down MP. Mid one, coming across, will be charged up. There'll be the TP attempt straight out from Ghost Stick, but Puppy comes in with a freezing field. Takes down the Axe, Chappy to full as well as Mid one picks up the double kill. So coming up in full force, and, and it really seemed there, Secret. They did not give a damn about that Global Silence. They just fought through it. Going to be hitting pretty hard with the Empower. Miposhka tries to get the charge oh. up, but yep, so it gets the snowball on him. Well, we'll get the bash, though. Yeah, we'll still take this nether strike to the face, which may buy enough time for Chapter to close the gap, and indeed it does. For the extra bash there, Yapso will be taken out, despite his best efforts with the snowball dodge. Not enough to save him against three angry, hungry heroes. So it's a little quicker farming if you don't have the right click build. Yeah. But, but if you do, yeah, that, that attack speed just going to amplify what he's able to do. bottom, getting yeah. dove hard, and Straight he just up. gets brought down instantly. Can they punish this, though? They've got to charge onto Puppy, Ghost Stick. It's going to see if he can find a jump, but again, the Yules from mid one. Just turns back, holds him out of there. Puppy has the time to TP out. And mid one continuing to walk himself away from that with no punishment whatsoever. Free Roshan for them. Secret not wanting to contest at all. And now the fight looking to ensue. It's a charge forward from Miposhka, makes a beeline straight for Puppy. Mid one has got a double damage. Watch out for that in this fight. Ghosting gets the call onto Puppy. Secret with a full fight man there. Out comes the Global Silence. Going forward, looking for the RPFM. Will hold off for it for the time being. Kezu has the borrowed time. Walks it off. They're trying to go for the old Puppy, but the Nether Strike flies through from Miposhka. They'll dunk down the CM. And then comes the punch from Yapsor. He tries to get the RP out of FM, but FM's already down and gone. They've lost to an Empire. Chappie falling low as well. The Aegis will be popped. Mid one getting a lot done this fight with that double damage rune. And now, can they kill him again? Chappie makes a beeline for the high ground. Secret are looking to chase. They get the chains out, but the rage is popped. Turns towards Kezu, but a little too speedy here on their baton. We'll get out. So Empire do keep Chappie alive, but they lose the Aegis on him. 
I haven't seen it in the build in a long time, though. And mid one now picks up a Shiva's guard, too, so very resilient to magic or physical. Fan tries to waltz up, pops the BKB, had an invis room, was hoping for some sort of play, but there was a sentry down. Instantly aware of the situation, Secret now themselves can look to take the favorable position. Mid one jumps forward. Straight away with the chains, they'll get the sharp block off as well. Maposhka will charge away. The rest of Empire on the tree, but no, Yapso chased down the charge with the snowball. Miposhka tries for the TP out, but the chains are there, and they'll finally take down the space count. Secret getting themselves the kill once again. And that was global. Secret's got the high ground. FN does have the Shadow Blade. Chappy. He's trying to make a bit of a go here onto Kezu. The sentry dropped down immediately by Secret. Just in case FN tries to come with the Shadow Blade. TP's across the shrine will be there, Maposhka. Who's he going to look for? On the sidelines, Global Silence comes out, but mid one. Can he actually finish off King R? The Glimmer Cape will save King R for the time being. Chappie, focused by Kezu and MP. Mid one jumps forward, finds the Silencer in the tree line. That's going to be one down. Has to change onto Ghost Stick. They've already found themselves three secret. And they get themselves anything more of this. FN with the Shadow Blade. Back he goes. Maposhka gets chased down on the side by Puppy, who finishes him off with a freezing field. And again, Empire just cannot find these fights. They're, they're, they're smoking up there, leading him with the Shadow Blade on the Magnus. Poshka getting his way out of this one. The Yules from mid one, buying space for Secret to come in. And that's going to be Maposhka out down. FN jumps forward, just get the two man skew. He gets to bring back as well. Has managed to dunk down two there with the back of a ghost stick. This is what they were looking for, Empire. They'll try and get Kezu, but he does get the borrowed time off. Mid one, manning up. Comes back in with the remnants. Takes down, goes. There'll be a buyback from Miposhka. FN leading forward with the BKB, trying to man up with the right clicks. Mid one, falling down low, but the slight fist comes out. Now they've got a spread, Empire. They've lost Miposhka. That's a dieback on the Spirit Breaker. Chappy will be back for round two. Secret focusing the weaklings. Goes straight for King R on the silencer. On the back lines, Chappy goes for the Ray CP and will make his way out of there. And again, Empire. Even though they get an RP of sorts, they, they do manage to take down two of uh, Secret Heroes, but it's the, you're killing the two supports. And it's costing you a lot of fatalities on your own side. Die back from the Spirit Breaker, losing the, the Aegis, losing Axe, losing Silencer. It's, again, it's not the story that Empire want to be writing. Yeah, I mean, there's, it's... RP and the X call pretty much for their disabled. Yeah. The charge just gets cancelled every single time. And Poshka's having a very hard game for himself. And these super mobile cores on Secret just are able to weave in and out of the fights constantly and not really be worried because there's no other big sustainable stuns or lockdown. Ghost Tick does get the call onto MP. Kezu immediately with the Ax borrowed time, making sure that minimal damage can be done to MP. Break, flies the Ember, so won't have a lot of damage. To, to bring down Ghost Stick, did he Ghost Stick will be able to walk this off. Charge from Imposhka is not going to go for it. Oh, in fact, well, okay, the Axe does. They'll cancel the charge, but Ghost Stick still goes in. Chappy looking for MP, but MP is going to be fine. He just turns around, punches back into the Life Stealer. Now looks towards the silence of Frostbin up by Puppy. And they're not done yet again. Secret jumping up into the base. Maposhka will get the charge away, but the Chains combo from mid one holds back the big old cow. And Secret again getting the kills. Moving on to the racks, fortification will come out. And mid one already just moving closer to the fountain, spamming out the chains to hold back Empire. FN does have RP. He needs an absolutely brilliant one. He needs something amazing here. We'll see if Secret give it to him if they do hold hands too much. FN looking for the RP. Silver Edge is now one off. And again, mid one just spamming the sleight of fist, making sure that the, any blink potential is minimalized. Mid one, dash jump straight into them. Triple round and forward, he's ready to go and play. Oh, we'll get the Stuart back, FN. RP, but it only catches one. They'll pop the global silence, but the Lotus Sword already laid down onto mid one, so he can jump back out. They've lost the axe, and GG well played is called. It's all too much here for Empire. Secret will take game one. And Empire, you really felt the struggle there in that game. They, they could just never hit it off. They never got that fight that they've been hunting for, even with the great start. The great landing stage, brilliant blink dagger timings. Secret were prepared. They got two 13-minute 13, 13 blink daggers, yeah. I think it was, on the axe and the mag, so they were farming incredibly well, but I, I think Secret just played really well the way that they played around it. Their maneuverability on the map, they made it so it's like, oh, you have to only, you can only get like one hero opportunities because yeah. now we're just going to have Yapspor pushing the top lane, mid one pushing the mid lane. Uh, MP pushing out the bottom lane, so they were just completely split up, not giving Empire the opportunities.